the Chamber of Commerce in Pioch, Nevada, held a grand opening ceremony for the Gunslingers on Friday, June 26, 2020. I'm Melissa Clary with the Pioch Chamber of Commerce, and we're excited to welcome gunslingers on their official ribbon cutting on their grand opening here in Pioch. I'm going to hand off the scissors. Here we go, our grand opening. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank, you. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody for this grand opening. Uh, yeah, it's the awesome. Community. The town has been awesome to us. Uh, this is a really big surprise to us, so we're going to give back. So on behalf of the Lincoln County Commission, Commissioner Pearson and I are here today to, to uh, celebrate and welcome the Gunslingers to Pioch. We're excited to have this new business open and a, a place for the folks to come and gather and have, grab a sandwich and an ice cream and, and enjoy the day. The Gunslingers offers a menu of build your own sub sandwich along with hot and cold coffee drinks and even ice cream cones, sundaes and banana splits. All for your Pioch style ice cream experience. It's a great fresh lunch. The meat is all fresh cut, all the fruits and all the vegetables are very nice and sliced, ready for the sandwich. Very tasty today. Don't, gonna, for, say, don't forget to have the ice cream. And you've got to have banana split. Banana split. <laughs> Um, then for myself, moved up here about a year ago and um, kind of started poking around on some of the old buildings up here and, and maybe something that we could do to possibly bring something different to the community. Um, there's only one other restaurant up here in town and um, we thought we would want to do something different, um, something different where the people had a different option to go to. And um, we thought ice cream um, and subs um, would be something different that could uh, give someone, some, some of the people up here a different option. And that's just really our goal. And, and keeping the history of uh, this town and with the, with the gunslingers and gunfighters. And, and, and if, if you read up on the history of this town and rough and tough and how it was, that was kind of what we wanted to play into. We wanted to kind of keep that theme and we were able to get a hold of this, this building from Mr. Stever and um, we wanted to preserve what this building was about and keep as much history in here as we could. It gives some people a reason to kind of almost, when they, when they come through, uh, travelers especially um, come through, kind of feel like they step back in time a little bit and, and learn a little bit about the history of P.O. Chuck here. Um, as the story goes, we, we bought the old Donnie Ranch in 1971. And this, one of the stories they told us the, back at the turn of the last century, about 1900, there's a old fellow that owned that ranch out there. His name was Doc Darrell. And he used to come to Pioch and, uh, in his wagon and, and kind of get liquored up. And uh, they would throw him in the wagon and tie the reins to his boots and spat the horse on the rear and the horses would head home. They'd go out towards Mount Wilson, up that canyon by Bill Connor's place there, and up over Muddy and and drop down into the Bill Donahue Ranch, which is now a Pearson Singing Valley Ranch. Well, that day, he must have fed his horses too many oats or something. Because when they spat that horse on the tail, somehow he got, they got scared and they took off running. And by the time they dropped down into the ranch there, all there was left is a pair of boots tied to the reins. The wagon was gone, 
His body was gone and they buried his boots at the bottom of that hill.